if you have practiced a lot of questions then it will be more easy like mm-hmm. it's a basic concept of a list in the okay. python and second question was uh, like a moderate one we uh-huh. have to just uh, evaluate the prefix uh, expression in that hi and welcome back to coding ninjas guys i'm kabir singh and i am here with another interview experience today we are here with swaraj who has cleared accenture and we'll be asking him how he managed to crack a company like accenture what was what all was there in the interview and how did it how did he actually crack the interview so coming upon to swaraj hi swaraj how are you doing yeah hi kabir i am good okay swaraj would you mind giving me a small introduction about yourself sure sure so hi everyone my name is swaraj singhote and i am a graduate of hgs institute of nanded in electronics and telecommunication and i am currently working as a data engineering associate at accenture that's great that's great so talking about uh, the interview experience uh, swaraj would you like to tell me how many rounds were there in total yeah so complete process consists of a three rounds actually okay uh, first was a coding round second was a virtual hr round and third okay. was a in video call technical round okay so the code so the coding coding round consists of actually uh, two questions one was easy and one was a moderate and okay. the virtual round virtual hr round like consists of uh, it actually tests your uh, uh, speaking fluency grammatical skills and vocabulary mm-hmm. and in video technical round is all about like technical skills and uh, project discussion okay theek hai so coming on the first round when we talk about two you you had only two questions right Yes, yeah other than that koi mcqs and no mcqs nothing like that no no actually the uh, questions was like first uh, was designed for the aptitude one it's a okay. mcq one mm-hmm. and then then after that you have the two questions for that one. okay and how many mcqs were there for aptitude and it was 45 45 and how much time do you get to solve them uh, 75 minutes for that 45 questions and 75 minutes again for two coding questions Okay, so when you talk about solving forty-five aptitude questions in seventy-five minutes, was it hard to solve them, or if you're good at aptitude, you can easily solve them up? Ah, uh, if you have practiced a lot of questions, then it will be more easy. Mm-hmm. Like uh, hardly one question will take one to one and a half minutes. So okay, uh, like if you have a practice, then you will get that. Okay, and moving forward to the difficulty level of the entire. you know 45 question module uh, was it easy medium or hard if we you know talk about that the entire 45 question set agar uh, somebody has actually you know come up with a good practice so can we say those questions were easy or they were medium or they were hard level uh, i can say 10 to 15 questions were very easy like mm-hmm. if you see the question you can directly mark out the answers okay and five to six questions will be bit difficult like okay. some uh, formula based and uh, skill based are there okay and some are also like coding based as well like you have to answer the output of that particular code okay so overall we can say it was a medium level round i guess medium level okay and now moving on to two uh, questions which were given for coding were they specifically talking about each question were they easy or medium or hard uh, actually the first question was very easy like mm-hmm. it's a basic concept of a list in the okay. python and second question was uh, like a moderate one we uh-huh. have to just uh, evaluate the prefix uh, expression in that okay were you so, able to solve all the test cases yes yes i have solved both the questions for the both test cases like that's great that's great so uh, if somebody has come up with good practice over lead code or you know good practice over questions would you say it will be easy yes. for them to solve those two questions within 75 minutes or a little difficult no if you have a like uh, hands on practice for that uh, coding questions uh, definitely it will take hardly 30 to 35 minutes to crack it okay so yeah i i can say like if you have a good practice uh, on any any of the platform so mm-hmm. you can go for it okay now moving forward to the second round one thing which i found a little different from other people who i interviewed is that after the first round you directly had the hr round and not the technical round right yeah actually uh, accenture has an virtual hr round 
uh, there is no in person call for that. Uh, they uh -huh. have some AI generated bots for that. Okay. So they will actually test your uh, fluency and grammatical skills. Okay. So how was that? How long did that go on for? Uh, it was only for 30 minutes, but mm -hmm. you have to be very proactive on that uh, interview. Okay. Actually, uh, there there are 24 questions for the uh, fluency and uh, vocabulary thing. Okay. So that AI generated bot, what it will do is like it will uh, like pronounce some 24 sentences in different accents. And mm -hmm. you just have to like repeat those sentences. Okay. So it will uh, actually test your uh, like uh, listening ability. Okay. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So now when we talk about that uh, round, was it easy, difficult, medium? What, what would you say? Uh, it was easy, I can say. Okay. Like anyone can crack it. Anyone yeah. can crack it. That's great. And now finally, to... uh -huh. yeah, yeah. tell me. You should have to be proactive only. Like okay. you should have a good listening skills for that. Only. Okay, good presence of mind and active uh, brain should be involved while giving that interview round. Okay. Right. Now moving to the final round wherein you had the technical round, which is again, one of the most difficult parts of every interview. What would you rate it? How was it? How long did it go? What all were you asked? Yeah, so that uh, video technical round was for uh, around 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually there was one panel who asked me questions, uh, like basic questions about uh, my projects done in the uh, engineering. Mm -hmm. And then after he went for the skills like Python, SQL. So he asked some uh, like queries regarding SQLs. So yeah, that was a bit moderate, I can say. Okay. And you like if if i talk about uh, the duration how much uh, time was it there for uh like there was no particular duration for that mm -hmm. so how it depends on the panel like how he wants to get uh, tested so mm -hmm. he just asked me some few questions regarding my technical skills like okay. actually i had some machine learning projects in my resume so Correct. he asked me like how you have tested the particular feature and how we have trained the things, all those things. Okay. Now, finally, talking about the entire interview experience, the entire three rounds. If we talk about three rounds, then how much would you rate the interview experience? Ki easy interview tha yaar, aram se nikal gaya, or you or would you would you be like, you know, it was a little difficult or something like that? I can say eight out of ten for that. Okay. 8 out of 10. That's great. So finally, talking about the last question before we conclude this interview experience, Varaj, is what would you suggest the people watching this video or your juniors coming up to do uh, or some tips or tricks you would like to tell them to crack interviews? Yeah, sure. Like talking about tips, uh, tips for freshers, I can say prepare a good resume. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be a very short. And if you have a GitHub or Kaggle work or uh, Kaggle work already there, then put a uh, link into the uh, resume. So it will be much easier for the evaluator to look for your projects, like what and all skills you have, what and all projects we have done. And I can say mention only those skills which you are confident enough. And uh, one more thing for specialty for the coding round, I can say uh, it's my personal experience. I have uh, practiced a lot on the code studio actually. Okay. So Code Studio is the platform designed by Coding Ninja itself only. Correct. So I can say, yeah. So I can say, uh, there are n number of questions there. So you can practice out there. That's great. That's great. And also, guys, uh, Swaraj has written this interview experience for us on our website. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want to read the article or you want to solve the questions that were asked in Accenture for him. So you can always have a look at it. It's the link will be there in the description below. And I really thank you, Suraj, for helping us out with this interview experience. So thank you so much for coming in. I hope we shoot another video pretty soon. Also, guys, you can hit the like button and the subscribe button for the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding, guys.